Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna to talk to you about multi-valued satellites. And actually, this is part one of a two-part video. In this first video, we're gonna talk about water and coffee. And to do that, we're gonna head first over to the whiteboard. Okay, so uh, now we have props. So as I mentioned to you just briefly a moment ago, the first thing we have is a glass of water. And I happen to be thirsty, so we'll hit that. All right, that's good. And I also have a cup of coffee. Now picture in your mind that you've got a camera in your hand, and it's still camera, bear with me. Are you gonna take a picture of me now? Picture you took a picture of me, imagine you just did, and let's capture that information. So the information says that um, you've got a customer ID, let's say it's HH102, and my name is Hans, and I'm a male, and in my hand was well, yeah, some water. That looks good. If I was using a ensemble method to do the same exact thing, I would say, well, there's HH102. My name is Hans, sex male, and I've got a water in my hand. Make sense? Makes good sense. Now, what would happen if a little bit later, I said, okay, now I'm gonna grab my coffee. And again, as it turns out, I am thirsty for coffee, so I'll get some of that too. Okay, that's good. Take a picture of me now and what have I got? I've got coffee in my hand. Now, here's the interesting thing about that. If you were to write that to this database, what would happen? Well, we'd have to end date this record, right? We have to end date this record. And we create a new record. And in the new record, everything would be the same except for, we would say now, in your hand was a coffee. Same thing over here, we'd end date a record for the satellite, put in a new record, and say, well, he used to have water in his hand, but now he's got coffee in his hand. This still all makes good sense because the satellite is working the way the satellite should work and this entity works the way the entity should work. But oftentimes what ends up happening in multi-valued is we're looking at concurrently active values concurrently active values. Let me illustrate. Take a picture of me now. Um, what's in hand? Well, I've got the water, it's still thirsty, and I've got the coffee. I actually have the water and the coffee at the exact same time. So they're concurrently active instances. I want you to know that at one time I had both. Let's go back to the picture here for a moment. How do I do that here? If I wanted to show for a single instance in time, I had water and coffee. How would I do that here? Well, I've only got in hand water. Here I've got in hand water. So I don't have a place to hold a second value for the concurrently active stuff. And by the way, what do you mean in, in what hand? So basically the solution to this would be I'd have to have in hand, right hand, and in hand, left hand. Same thing here. In hand, left and right. Now I've got a place to put coffee. Now you see what's happening here is these are both concurrently active values. In other words, for one time slice, both these were active. For one time slice, both these were active. One thing I could not do is use the historization feature here to create another record. Because remember, if I create another record here and put coffee, try to say hand type, left or right, I've now changed the whole dynamic because it's not about what's concurrently active one instance. I'm using the historical tracking feature to show that there should be more than one concurrently active value. That's not a feature of an ensemble method so multi-active, multi-variant, multi-valued satellites are not part of the ensemble and really don't make any sense for what it is we're doing here. Let's take a look at the slide deck again. Okay, so again, you get the idea. It's either coffee or water, different time slices, or it's coffee and water at the same time. I need to have attribution for both in order to make that work. So if I were to say coffee and water at the same time, in a single satellite, I'm actually creating an entity that's a different type of table altogether. 
what I really should be doing is saying, yes, these two uh, are active at the same time. They have their own place, their own attribute um, location for left and right hand. Hope that makes sense. We'll see you in the next lesson to follow up more on this topic.